Mm. All right, guys, um, we're going to bring Director Chapman up in just a second, but just to let you know, uh, there are no additional updates as it relates to the homicide investigation at this time. Uh, we're here to support Crime Stoppers today and bring Director Chapman up. Well, as you've been told, uh, I'm here to advise you and the, and the community that there's a $26,000 reward for information leading to the arrest or arrests of individuals involved in this murder. Now, there's probably not a person in this room that hasn't heard me say that the answer to crime in this city, this crime and every other one that happens is community involvement. And I'm not talking about support your local police. I'm talking about getting involved. And the way to get involved is to let crime stoppers, the police department, know who's doing what and where they are. Uh, we have marvelous success in this. Our last payout, we paid out on six different homicides, three where we got information on who committed the crime, and three where we got information on the perpetrator's location. But it is just most important that someone come forward and give us information on this. It can be a very small piece of information, but it can be absolutely critical. Somebody in this city knows everything. I've said this over and over again, and somebody needs to come forward and tell us what happened in this case and who did it. Uh, one of the things about Crime Stoppers is we offer you, the community, an opportunity to do this that is totally safe, totally anonymous. No one will know who you are, no one will know who called us. And in, particularly in a case like this, the payoff will do, be done in such a way uh, that you are totally safe. I want to appreciate the cooperation that Crime Stoppers gets from the Memphis Police Department. Uh, we give this back equally so. It's a very important partnership uh, that is represented here. And so I would ask that anyone who has any information on this incident, no matter how trivial you might think it is, it could be the very one little piece that enables the Memphis Police Department to move forward and apprehend the, the killers. So that's it, $26,000. Uh, this is the third 26 in a row. Uh, as most of you know, we paid 26000 in the murder of Layla Washington. We paid 26000 in the case of Susan McDonald. So uh, it's a lot of money, and someone could have it in their pocket if they'll give us that information we need. What kind of tips have you been getting so far? Have you gotten a lot of tips? I, it, to my knowledge, we haven't gotten any tips because it hasn't really been on the street yet. Uh, someone might be a, have that answer right now. I don't think we've gotten any tips or any calls. What, is, can you confirm that it's... Um, $25,000 worth of donated? 25 donated from private sources. Crime Stoppers pays 1000 on any homicide. Who are those private sources and what's the interest? We in never them? reveal the source uh, of funds that we get uh, unless the donor particularly wants that uh, promoted. Uh, this came from a variety of sources, I'll tell you that. Are, are you guys wanting to put it out there that you're kind of desperate for some type of lead? No, uh, we, it is a very prominent case. I think one of the things that we simply must address in this city is these predatory groups that go around where they think people are who have valuables, who have money, who have valuable cars. Uh, this is not the first case. You could, uh, you could take uh, Phil Trenary, uh, almost identical circumstances. So what we're saying is the quicker these people are taken in, the better it is. But no, we're not particularly desperate. We're always very anxious to get citizen cooperation, citizen involvement, and that's what I started my remarks out addressing. You talked about groups kind of predatory you know, being predatory. Is that what you believe happened in this case? As we had heard maybe a car I don't have any details on this case, but just from having looked at it and read about it in the media, that would appear to be what it is. And as I say, in that it's not the first case of this type that we've had, 
And we all know, we see what happens on Beale Street, we see what happens any venue where a large number of people are gathered, you're subject to have individuals who will prey on that. Is it possible that the word could go even higher if you know, time goes on and there, there isn't a tip? Well, in the case of Layla Washington, it didn't get any higher. It started out at 26 and stayed at 26. Uh, I would say we would review that down the line depending on what sort of information we get. What do you tell the people who argue that, you know, why is this much money being raised for this particular man? You know, there's a lot of other homicides. Why isn't this done for other ones as well? What do you tell those people? Well, my answer to that would be the fact that I've just pointed out to you this is not the first uh, case where that much money has been raised, but I would also point out to you that um, street corner murders, drug deals gone bad, arguments over money, uh, these are not in the same category as this case. The circumstances are totally different. Can you, um, again, just stress to the viewers the importance of the smallest tip, how long of a way that could even go for the police department? Well, it, 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 it goes the whole way because so often an investigation, the one small thing uh, will lead to something else. And I guess in the case of Layla Washington, I could give you an example of that, uh, that they knew what happened but they didn't know who was involved. But once we got the tip, they knew who to look for. And so they were able to review information they already had and absolutely identify who was responsible. So it could be one digit on a tag number. It could be an accurate description of the color of the car. It could be a description of was it one person, three people, or five people. So I would just urge the citizens, urge the community, if you know anything, if you've heard any talk, if you've heard a rumor, let Crime Stoppers know and we'll pass it on to the right person. Is this the third um, $26,000 reward ever or just recently? Oh, no, no, this is just recently. We've had the rewards go up as high as 75000 And then as far as the, the littlest tip, is that adding on to, uh, you know, is there something that people shouldn't assume that is no like because obviously no. we don't know the public doesn't know anything they no. don't even have a, a gender of my don't of assume people. anything any investigation having been police director i can tell you that any investigation is a building block series of information that that they're able to get and able to put together so that it comes up with an end product that they know something so i, I reiterate it could be anything at all for people who don't know how to put in these tips they can call they can text Go over that briefly. 528-CASH, 528-2274. You can text, you can uh, you can call, and it is totally anonymous. I often have people ask, say, oh, no, I know you got caller ID. No, we don't because we don't want caller ID. We do not want to know who our informants are because if we know, we can be forced to tell. And therefore, even when people try to tell us who they are, we don't want that information. Okay, thanks, everybody. And when there Thank are you. updates, we will share them uh, via social media. All right? Thank you, Director Chapman. Thank you.